Let's get straight to the point. An omnivore eats plants and meat. A human would be an example. A herbivore eats only plants, which an example or two examples would be horses and cows. A scavenger eats the remains of dead things like a vulture. A producer is a thing. It like it makes stuff. You know, it makes stuff edible. Like plants and autotrophs. Sorry, I had trouble reading my handwriting. I know that's bad to say, but heterotroph gets energy by eating others um, or orga- organic matters. Yeah, eating others or organic matters. A carnivore eats meat. Uh, detrivore, I don't know how to say that word, eats dead matter. Consumer eats others. Uh... I don't know what I put. So, yeah. Um, autotroph makes their own food and energy within organic sources. So, yeah. Page 2, the last page. Biotic factors are living organisms within an ecosystem that impact other organisms. Abiotic factors are non-living components or physical factors in an ecosystem that influence living organisms. A biome is a place for several things. An ecosystem is a community of living things that are interacting with each other and their physical environment. Wetlands is a water-filled place with unique plants and animals. Parasitism is where one organism benefits from the other and it harms or weakens the other one. And, you know, it gets what it needs and, well... Return. Predation, I think it says right there. A organism herds and consumes another for food and energy. Commensalism, I'm probably misspelling a lot of these, but oh well, is one organism that benefits and, well, neither side is harmed. Carrying capacity is a maximum sustainable population size and ecosystem with resources and conditions. Uh, mutationalism, whatever, is both organisms benefiting each other. A limiting factor is a factor restricting growth, abundance, or distribution of population in an ecosystem. Competition is the rivalry, rivalry between organisms for limited resources. Biodiversity is the variety and abundance of different species and plants different species of plants and microorganisms within a given ecosystem. An invasive species is a non-native organism set or whatever that causes harm to the environment, economy, or human health, which, uh, which introduced to a new ecosystem. I mean, when introduced to a new ecosystem. Native species. Organisms naturally occur and... Wait, evolve within a specific ecosystem or geographic region without human interve- or intervention or introduction. Estuary is an area where a river meets the sea, mixing fresh water and salt. And coral reef is a device or diverse underwater place made from accumulation and wait of calcium or calcium. Carbon dioxide skeletons made by coral um, polyps. I don't know. Uh, one reason why I kept messing everything up is because I'm genuinely tired. It's only 9.23 p.m., but uh, I'm genuinely tired. So, yeah, bye.